it's an incredibly, incredibly powerful aircraft, and I'm not talking about thrust. I'm talking about um, the the um, capabilities that it brings to the battle space. It's incredibly powerful. The disappointing thing is that I can't share all of the details with you, and and I do find that very disappointing because I think a lot of the critics um, would be quietened very quickly. Flying the Harrier back to the carrier, now that was a handful, and that that sat with you resident in the back of your mind while you were trying to perform the actual mission. Um, whereas with the F-35 I'm, I'm confident that the frontline pilots will launch off the front of the carrier and then they'll go and perform their operational task and at no point will they think, oh good lord, I've got to take this thing back to a heavily moving uh, aircraft carrier at the end of it. So it, it just it will allow the pilots to concentrate on the task. So yeah, of course there are deficiencies that have been identified. Um, they're being rectified. It is still developing. It is developmental test. So um, that's my opinion. The ski jump, along with the Italians, no one else will fly this aircraft from an aircraft carrier with a ski jump. So the aircraft has been customized for us. Why? Because we had UK personnel embedded in the process throughout to ensure that it, it did become customised and suited our needs. And we've got specific UK weapons as well. And so it is not an off-the-shelf product, that, which I believe most people may you know, mistakenly come to that conclusion.